Now insert the fluent from the ICM CFD. So right click on the cell number B2 and select the option transfer data to new and choose the fluent here. Double click on the setup cell that is the C2 cell to open the fluent. Select the double precession option. It should be serial. So two cores will be enough for this problem. Set the window sizes as per your requirement. First thing you should check the quality especially the negative volume. It's a positive quantity. Now you can report the quality also. 0.49 It's a very good quality. The maximum orthogonal skewness is 0 0.44. It's also very good quality. Death ratio 7.447 It's a very also a good uh, quality metric. Okay, for this problem, the not number is equal to 1000. So, means the flow is, is laminar. We will take the velocity equal to 1 meter per second. The density is equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube and the diameter is also equal to 1 meter for the pipe and the formula for a knot number is equal to rho v d r l divided by the viscosity so put the values 1000 is equal to 1000 into 1 into 1 divided by the viscosity okay 1000 1000 cancel so viscosity is 1 So model is uh, laminar. For boundary conditions, no need to change the name. Just change the boundary conditions. So diameter is already one meter. Viscosity, put value here thousand. And uh, for density is a thousand. For viscosity, put the value of the one kilogram per meter second or the Pascal seconds. Click on change create. Okay, now go to the boundary conditions. Just need to change the boundary conditions over here. That is the velocity magnitude is going to be the one meter per second. Solution method make it coupled. And the journal make it transient. Okay. The solution monitors either put the convergence check to none so that the solution will run for the specified number of the iterations or you can put the some higher value here so if you put the very very large target that is the 10 power minus 15 minus 18 this is same as you put the no checkbox here no limit on the convergence criteria click on ok and uh, before that we must define the dynamic mesh parameters it should be smoothing and demeshing and uh, go to settings in the settings for the spring left loss or boundary layer 
uh, we will use this method the second option which is the diffusion zero means that the equally uh, magically diffused are displaced across the domain uh, we can we can put value this value up to the two and two means that the maximum displacement will be felt in the far field boundary so we will go for the some higher value but not too much higher value so 0.4 or 0.45 is a good enough value to be on safe flight. For remeshing, we'll turn on the local cell, local face. Uh, we will not turn on the region, face, or cut cell zone. This is enough for our application. For more details, you can go to the fluent help. I'm also not going to turn on the size function. So uh, for this field, we are going to take the mesh scale info from here. So minimum length scale is the 0 0.0019. Just paste here. Sorry. Copy from here and paste over here. The maximum length scale in the meters. Now put keep the maximum cell skewness to the 0.9 and maximum face skewness to the 0.7. Uh, by this option, what will happen is that first the mesh will try to distort itself because of the option we selected here. That is smoothing. So it will first try to smooth the mesh as possible as it can but once the quality of the mesh on the faces crosses the limit of 0.7 or in the case of volume up beyond the 0.9 value the remeshing will be done up to that the smoothing algorithm will work and beyond these values these limits of the mesh quality the remeshing will take in place and the uh, size remeshing interval make it one instead of five apply now we need to create the boundaries for the dynamic mesh so for the fluid it's going to be the deforming body and the meshing options you can take from the mesh scale info copy and paste The maximum skewness here is uh, 0.5. Create. On the inlet, we put the stationary boundary here. For the inlet, you, if you remember, the size uh, was something like a. On the inlet, the size was 0 0.08. 0 .0, 0 0.08. It's going to be stationary. And same is true for the outlet boundary condition. The next one is the, uh, the wall. This is also a stationary condition. And the size for the wall is 0.2 is equal to the 0.2. It's also stationary. And the last one is the sphere. This is the FSI boundary uh, known as the system coupling in the fluid. So set the option system coupling here. And for the sphere, the size is 0 0.004. 0 0.004. Click on create. Close the panels. Now initialize solution from the inlet. In the calculation activities, you can save the file if you want. 
in the time step uh, with a very 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 rough guess without without considering any uh, flow feature like the water shedding frequency uh, we can see that the pipe length is basically is equal to the 20 meter the velocity is 1 meter per second if we divide by the 1 the time the one particle if you release from inlet is going to take the 20 seconds now we want to divide this 20 seconds into steps so that we can solve the flow properly so I would suggest that the, the first step is maybe you can define the size time size as a point 2 here as a first starting point if the solution diverges or negative volumes are there you can change the size to the point 0 2 and the next step can you can make this one by the one order of magnitude so one double zero two so I'm going to use the point 2 it is recommended that the fast system coupling you should only put the number of time steps equal to the one that is used when we will be running the system coupling or two way FSI so for each iteration of system or F2 FSI the fluid will run only one time step and also reduce the number of iterations to the some lower numbers because we don't want to run this case for the very long number of iterations very large number of iterations that is not required that is simply not required that we should be converging very tightly in the every iteration or every time step so 10 are enough you can check box extrapolate variables to speed up the solution and data sampling for time statistics in the fluent or CFD post if needed so this is all we needed so you can save the project here